What you doing? We are making Pork oh, Valley burnt ends. What is that? It is a cross between brisket burnt ends, which is a Kansas City staple, which are amazing. If you ever have had them or haven't had them, you should try them. But with pork belly. So it's basically bacon that hasn't been cured. And uh, yeah, it's awesome. It's got tons of fat, a lot of meat. It just it sounds exciting. So we'll see how it goes. So first, I'm gonna cube this meat by cutting strips and then cutting those strips into cubes. And is there like an exact measurement or is it whatever size you want? Uh, you're gonna want to do something that will be bite size once it renders down. So that's gonna shrink about 50%, I would say. And, uh, but being that I've never done this before, no. So I would do like a half a finger length. And then on the cube, same thing. Just kind of eyeball it. We got this at Costco. That's why it's very big. Pork belly burn ends. Smells so good already. <laughs> So, what are you guys doing? We cooked these. We seasoned them with just salt, pepper, paprika, and garlic powder. And we cooked them for two hours? Three. Three hours to get them smoked and seasoned and cooked. And now, we are putting them together as tightly as possible. And we're gonna put sugar on top. And then, um, let them cook in their own juices for a little bit. And hopefully it will be a candied sweet treat. <laughs> uh, what type of sugar are you using for it? We are having to use monk fruit. Sweetener? Sweetener. Because we do keto. So we can't have brown sugars like it normally calls for. So we're gonna try our own thing. We'll try our own spices. We'll see how it, see how it turns out. So what are we gonna do on this last step? So we are going to add some barbecue sauce to okay. them. Why? For what? I don't really know. Well, no, it's <laughs> uh, to create a glaze right. and to help them. Um, just get that little extra yumminess. Awesome. All right. So what do we got here? So here I'm doing a sweeter version. And so even though it is monk fruit, it's not necessarily keto friendly. Because if you add 27 tablespoons of monk fruit, it's still sugar of some sort. Anyway, so I wanted something sweeter though. Um, so these two, we added a glaze of butter and then a little bit more monk fruit. I'm gonna toss them up and put them back in the smoker. And what Leroy did was he added um, barbecue sauce to his and then he's gonna put his back in the smoker, right? Right. And we're gonna put them back in the smoker for 15 minutes? 25. 25 minutes. And that should just kind of allow everything to kind of glaze up and crisp up, and then we, we'll try it. Right, we'll show you the finished product. Right. All right, so we just pulled these out. There's the ones with barbecue sauce. There's the ones without. So, Can taste test. Boy is gonna taste test. So what's the one without? We're gonna try with it first. What? One, two, so this one? Yeah. Oh, right. I've said it backwards. What is 
Put it down a little. It's good. Expand. Okay. They're really good. It's like a. I'm chewing. It's like a barbecued pork chop. I got a piece that had a lot of meat on it though. What do you think? All I've tried was like the part that was covered in barbecue sauce though, so it's really sweet. Right, so you think the barbecue sauce is sweet? Yeah. I'm gonna wait till you try mine. Do a small one. Small one this time? Yeah. Hmm? Whichever. Just a small one. What a chew mouth. So now we're trying the ones without barbecue. That's right. So these ones were glazed in butter and sugar. Sounds good. It's gonna be like dessert. I like this one better. Do you? Why? Tastes better. <laughs> it's like candy. It's like meat candy. It's really good. Barbecue one. I like that. So these are pork belly burnt ends. Our attempt at it anyway. Good stuff. Let's see. Super tender. Juicy, it just dripped. Yummy. Which one would you like better? I like this one, but I think it could use sauce. So. A combination of the two? Yeah. 